In the last video, we talked about function scope, where if we declare a variable with any keyword, whether it's let, const, or var within a given function, it is scoped to that function. We don't have access to it outside that function. Now we're going to see a different type of scope, which is called block scope. And it doesn't necessarily have to do with functions, at least not directly. But I did mention at the beginning of the section, we would cover some function adjacent content. And if you think back to one of the very first videos in the course, when I introduced let and const and also var, I said we would come back later on, that's right now, to discuss one of the main distinctions between let and const compared to var. So this is it, block scope. This is a very, very important concept around how variables work in JavaScript. So let's start with a simple example. Here's a conditional, if true. It's always going to run whatever code is in here. Let's declare a variable called animal and set it equal to eel. If I console.log animal outside this block, what do you expect? What will be printed out? Let's try it. Nothing, we get an error. Animal is not defined. So what does this tell us? It tells us that animal is scoped inside this conditional. It is scoped to this block of code. Blocks in JavaScript are denoted by curly braces. Keep in mind, this is very different than an object literal, which is also curly braces. This is an object. This up here is a block. So same thing if we had a while loop, if we had a for loop or a for of, those are all blocks, the code we write between the curly braces. So this is not a function but it appears that animal is still scoped to this block. And if I console.log to animal here, of course it should work, and it does. We get eel, and then animal is not defined. So that's how let behaves. And if I did change this to const, and I rerun it, we get the exact same output. We have access to animal in the curly braces inside the conditional. We do not have access to it out here. Now if I duplicate this, and I change this to instead use var. You can probably tell where I'm going with this. If I run it, it works in both cases. Eel is printed here in the block and outside the block. So this tells us that let and const have different scoping rules than var. Back in the day, before let and const, we only had var, and var is scoped to functions, what we covered in the last video. There is no block scope for var. If we declare a variable using var in any block, like a conditional, a for loop, a while loop, it is not scoped to that block. We have access to it outside. And that could be problematic, and that is different than how a lot of programming languages behave, which is why let and const were proposed, among other reasons. So they also, you know, there's a distinction between const and let. That was one of the reasons they were added in to create constants in JavaScript, but also for scoping reasons. So why would this potentially be problematic? What's wrong with having a variable declared in a block and having access to it afterwards? There's a bunch of reasons, but let me illustrate a simple problem that used to come up occasionally. If we have a for loop using the var keyword, so for var i equals zero, i less than, let's make an array called, uh, well, we'll just do animals. Let animals equal, and then we'll have grizzly bear. Let's do panda bear and spectacled bear, spectacled bear. And then we'll loop over this using a for loop. I is less than animals.length, I plus plus. We'll console.log animals. And let's also console.log I. So we get zero, oh, well, I didn't mean to console.log animals. Let's do animals of I instead of the whole array each time. We get zero grizzly bear, one panda bear, two spectacled bear. But here's the thing, outside this loop, if I print i, it still exists. And it's actually set to three because of the way a for loop works. It starts at zero, it, that's less than animals.length. So we loop and we add one to i. And then it becomes one and then two. And the last index in here is two. So when i is two, we access the last element and then it's incremented to three the loop does not run again, but i doesn't cease to exist. i is still here. We have access to it. And this could be problematic if you were relying on a variable called i, maybe one you had defined somewhere else, like var i equals 10. You might think that this i should remain as 10, 
But if we print i down here, the only i that we're getting is 3 from this loop. So even though I had a different variable declared with var up top, and it looks like, at least sort of uh, upon first glance, that i exists only in this loop, because we used var, it does not. And that means that we have access to it afterwards, which can have all sorts of unintended consequences. It just makes it harder for you to know exactly where i stops. It's not going to abide by these bounds if we use var, because it's not block scoped. Now if I instead come down here and do this with let, let's see what happens now. So the loop still works great, but now when I console.log i at the bottom, it's set to 10. And that's because this i that we use let to declare is scoped to this block, to the for loop. So it doesn't exist down here. The only i that exists is this one here. I used var, but we could also use let. And it works. And if I did not have i declared up here, I try to print it out, we get an error. There is no i. And the same holds true for const, though you wouldn't use const in a for loop because it's being incremented. That would break everything, as you can see here it will yell at me, assignment to constant variable. The first time it tries to add one, everything breaks. So I'll undo that change, we'll go back to let. The other thing that you can see right away, it tells you that these are not scoped the same way, that they exist in different scopes. This I here and this I here is the fact that we don't get an error when we run this code. Normally, if we have two variables in the same scope with a given name, declared with let or const, let x equals 10, if I try and make another x, and set it equal to t, we get an error. It says identifier x has already been declared. In this case, we're making a variable i with let, and then another i with let. On the very next line, they exist in different scopes. They are not conflicting. Once again, compared to var, which is not block scoped, this i is the exact same i down here. So they are in the same scope. It starts as 10, and then we are redeclaring i as zero. And you can do that with var in the same scope. I can say var t equals one, and then var t equals five, which I cannot do with let and const. I cannot use the same identifier twice. So blocks also include things like while loops, conditionals as we saw, all of those rules apply for let and const. They are scoped to the block. So now let's just write a function that also includes a block within it called double array, which will double an array that is passed in. So if we pass in the array of 1, 2, 3, 4, or fine, 1, 3, 5, we should get back 2, and then 6, and then 10. Each element is doubled in a new array. We're not updating the original. So I'm going to write a function that is expecting ARR, some array, to be passed in. We'll assume it's an array, and then we'll loop over that array using a 4 let x of, or let's call it num, num of array. I'll make a variable in here called double, which is equal to num times two. And then up here, I'll make a variable which will be an empty array, and I will push double in for each number. So I'll start with one, I'll double it, which I do here. I have a variable called double. I will add that into a new empty array, which I'll call uh, what should we call it? I'll go with const because we're not going to change the reference. We'll call this result. It starts as an empty array. And then result.push double. Okay, so what we have here is a function. We have const, which is scoped to the entire function, which is why at the end I'm able to return result because result was defined in this function, not in a block. Then we have double, which is scoped to this block we still have access to result. So within a block, we still have access to variables that were declared outside the block in this function. So let's run this now. We'll call double ARR on one, two, and three. So one, two, three, we get two, four, and six. If I were to try in console.log double and run the same line, it does not work. If I instead used var for double, it does work because var does not cease to exist after this block, meaning the last time through the loop, which was on three, double is set to three times two, which is six. We have access to it down here, which is why we see six.
So this is just a quick example where we have different scopes going on. We have const result, which is scope to the entire function because it's not inside of a block. We have, go back to let, let double, which is scoped to this block from a for of loop. So down at the bottom, we can still return results, but we don't have access to double. If we wanted for some reason to have access to double at the end, we could define it right here, let double, and we still have access to it here, double equals num times two. If I run this code, we still get 246. I don't know why you would want access to double outside that block. We're only using it to push a value in inside the loop, but we, we do have access. If you needed it, I can still access it even with let because I declared it in the function scope and then I'm changing it within block scope. But I'm gonna undo that and go back to what we had earlier where it only exists in the block. Okay, so to sum this all up, let const and var are three ways of declaring a variable. We've seen that. There's a big difference between let and const because const cannot be reassigned, it's a constant variable. And both let and const cannot be redeclared. So we can't have what we've already seen. Let x equals one, let x equals two. We cannot redeclare a new variable. We can change let at any point, but I cannot redeclare the same variable with the same name in the same scope. Var, you can do whatever you want with it. But the very important difference that we covered here is that on one side we have var, which is not block scoped. On the other side, we have let and const, which are block scoped. So if you declare a variable with let or const in a loop, in a conditional, in a for loop, in a while loop, those variables are scoped only to the confines of that block. If they're not in a block, if they're defined in a function, like we have here, we can access it within that function. It doesn't exist afterwards, which is what we saw in the last video. And the same is true for var. So var was the only option a couple years ago, function scoped, now let and const are here, block scoped.